don't know what I'm doing. This is so weird. I have so much anxiety right now. You have no idea. So today's video is a cat chat. I literally don't know what we're gonna be talking about, but we're just gonna be talking. This is actually my first and maybe my last attempt at a mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. I'm not exactly sure how you say that. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm trying to think about how Kim Tai says it, and I don't remember. Mukbang, mukbang. <laughs> I just quickly want to warn you guys, if you hate mukbangs or if you hate anything where people are eating on camera, X out this video, I'll catch you on the next one. You will not like this video, you will hate it. So just to avoid the, oh my god, this I hate this video, I hate people chewing, just to avoid all of that, like just like don't watch the video, you know? Catch my next one. It will not be me eating, I promise. And you know what? I used to be that person too. I used to be that kind of person. My best friend Amelia watches these videos all the time for years, and I used to watch her watch them and be like, can you? Why are you watching that? But one day, this is how it started. I think I was like on a road trip somewhere. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing, but I remember being in the car and I was starving. I was so hungry that for some reason, I don't know what it was. I just decided to like YouTube a mukbang and then I just started watching these videos. And I know it's so weird, but I, I mean, I could only watch specific people because it still gives me the creeps and just watching people eat and chew and like slurp and talk and all of that. It still gives me the creeps, but for some reason it feels like a little satisfying void. I don't know. And I love watching these videos as I'm sitting down eating lunch. Like I love eating lunch watching <laughs> these kinds of videos. I don't know. I actually did a poll on Twitter and I asked you guys, I was like, how do you guys feel about mukbangs? And I think it was like 49% liked them and 51% disliked them. So it's like a, lo a lot of you hate them. I mean, I, I kind of hate them, but in the back of my mind, I know I don't. Anyway, so I ordered food from Chili's. Danny is actually eating his by himself because I wanted to film this video. I thought it would be cool to just sit down, have a really like casual, laid back conversation. Grab your lunch, grab your breakfast, grab your dinner. We can sit down and have it together. And if you like these videos, maybe I'll do them like once every three months. <laughs> but anyway, so I know Chili's isn't like the healthiest thing in the world. I try my best to eat really, really healthy throughout the week. But sometimes, sometimes I like to cheat a little bit. Sometimes I like to have food. I'm not supposed to eat fried foods, you know. I think it's okay to indulge every once in a while. And every time I go to Chili's, I usually just get the same thing. This is like one of those um, Fiesta Mexican bowls. This is like the chicken one, but I get it without chicken. And I also get no cheese. And since I take off the chicken, I just get extra beans, extra avocado. They always skimp out on my avocado all the time and then extra rice as well, so it's not like meh. And I get a lot of questions about how I eat. I just, I don't eat dairy at all, and I also don't eat meat, really. Um, I know there has to be some dairy in this, maybe. I'm not sure, does this have dairy in it? But honestly, I love the Chili's chips and salsa. It's my favorite chips and salsa from like a regular chain restaurant. I love the chips and salsa from like authentic Mexican restaurants. restaurants. But like for a regular restaurant, I love the Chili's one. The salsa is delicious. The chip is delicious. I love it. But no matter what, everything I order in life, whenever I go out to restaurants, has to have a side of fries. If I go to a restaurant, and they don't have fries. I don't know, I, I just, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. And I know it's so bad for you. I was actually reading an article not too long ago about how french fries are terrible for you because obviously they're fried, but I can't live without french fries. It's my favorite side. It's like my favorite side of all time. If I can't eat fries with it, what's the point? What's the point? This is actually my own ketchup. <laughs> How many of you guys like to mix mayonnaise and ketchup for your dipping sauce? When I was younger, I used to think that was so weird, when, but Amelia and her brother Eric used to eat like that all the time, and then like they got me onto it. But now, of course, I use just mayo because it is dairy-free. I can eat old fries, cold fries, crispy fries, soggy fries. Any kind of fry you give me, I will eat it. The thing that gets me about these mukbang things is I hate eating while I'm talking. But it's like, how am I not supposed to do that? Like in these videos, you have to do that. So I feel like that's what throws people off. I feel like that's what turns people off to these videos, you know? I actually want to get Emilia to do this video with me. I think it'll end up being better because one person can be talking while the other person is eating. And I feel like you just have better conversation that way, you know? So I'm going to ask her if she wants to film these videos with me if you guys want to see it. <laughs> Man, I have been so 
sucked into Supernatural, the show. I cannot, I can't watch anything else. I can't do anything else. I used to be able to watch like 10 shows at once, but now Supernatural has taken over my life. I have started How to Get Away with Murder again. That came back. That show was amazing. By far my favorite Shonda Rhimes show, Grey's Anatomy fans, calm down. But How to Get Away with Murder is my favorite. And also The Walking Dead. I mean, that is the best show on TV right now though. I would say The Walking Dead is one of the best shows of all time. Definitely like top four. When it comes to dramas, like obviously aside from Friends, New Girl, The Mindy Project, like all my favorite comedies. Drama, The Walking Dead is so good. For me, the, okay, it goes like this. I would say Dexter is my number one show of all time. I love it, I think the ending is absolute garbage. The worst ending they could have given that show, they gave it. So that takes off major points for that reason, but it's such a good show. I would say Dexter is my number one. Um, then, I don't know, it's a tie between Sons of Anarchy and The Walking Dead. I'm not sure. I don't know which one I love more. They're both so good. And the writer of Sons of Anarchy is like amazing. He's brilliant. I love him. And honestly, to me, that show had one of the best endings I've ever seen. To me, the ending is the most important part of a show because for me, I want it to make sense. I want the show to go in a complete circle. I want, and it doesn't have to be a happy ending, but I want a good ending. And Sons of Anarchy, so many people hated it, but I thought it ended like a freaking poem. It was so good. And Breaking Bad also ended so beautifully as well. I really like Breaking Bad. I think The Walking Dead is better. I know everyone, don't kill me. I know there are huge Breaking Bad fans out there. I mean, Breaking Bad is up there though. That's a great, great, great story. Great show. I also really loved Prison Break, and then they ruined it by bringing it back. Like, I came to terms with the ending. I had my grief period, okay? I cried, I accepted it, and I moved on. And then they just came and opened a can of worms and just ruined, they just ruined everything. Mind you, I've only seen the first two episodes of that reboot, but I hated it, I stopped watching it. <laughs> I'm just, I, I hate when shows come back because if it ended well, like if Dexter came back, that'd be great. If they could fix that, that'd be excellent. I just hate when you like mess up a good thing, you know? Just, I don't know. But anyway, where I was getting at before, I have been watching Supernatural and I'm obsessed. I thought it was gonna be so stupid. I thought it was gonna be a show that I just like played in the background, but I actually love it. I'm on season six. It gets so detailed and so intense. So far for me, the show is just getting better and better. Which is why I think it's been on the air for like 58 years. On the air? Do you still say that? It's been on the air. I don't know. Oh, I also think you're not supposed to edit mukbang videos because I think that's the whole point, like for people to watch you eat, but I'm not 100% on board with these kinds of videos. I'm gonna edit out my eating because it drives me crazy. I'm just giving this a test run. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so funny because the other day I was watching an episode of Supernatural and Sam mentioned that his birthday was May 2nd and that's Danny's birthday. On another episode, Dean mentioned that his birthday was January 24th, which is three days before my birthday. I thought that was pretty cool. Which Dean is 100% an Aquarius. If I could guess what Dean would be, he, he's such an Aquarius, I can't. But for sure, Sam is not a Taurus. <laughs> no. If I had to guess, like the character Sam, I would get I would guess him to be like a like a Pisces or a Cancer. Definitely a water sign. Actually, yeah. Maybe even a Scorpio because he is feisty. He has anger problems. I get a lot of questions about zodiac stuff. I'm just so into it. If you really look into it, it is incredibly accurate. I mean, I'm getting so good at guessing people's signs. It's it's a little scary. And I know it gets such a bad rap when you talk about like zodiac signs and stuff They automatically link it to horoscopes and like oh my god, that's such bullcrap and like so general and that says it for everybody But no zodiac signs are so much deeper than horoscopes horoscopes are actually bullcrap. They really are I never read my horoscope They say the same thing to everybody I would not go by that But if you actually do like research and look into your zodiac sign and your moon sign and like your birth chart in general You would agree with me. 
I'm gonna try to link um, like a website down below so you can fill out your birth chart and see what your moon sign is. Like I'm an Aquarius, but my moon sign is Scorpio, which up until I knew that, I thought that I was like not an Aquarius at all. Zodiacs make no sense because I'm nothing like an Aquarius, which as an adult, I realize now that I kind of am. But there were so many things I never related to at all. Aquariuses love to be free. They hate commitment. They hate to be tied down. They like to just like be like, ah, oh, like a free bird. I got married at 19. I love commitment. I think it's great. And when I was younger, I was just like very, very jealous. Not about like personal things. Like I don't care if you had something that I didn't. I was jealous about people. When my friendships, like I was jealous about my friends and my parents and even my siblings. Like I remember one time I was like 10 years old. We had it caught on video. I remember like Janine, my cousin wanted to do like a postcard for my dad for his birthday. She was like, oh my God, let's make your dad like a happy birthday card. And I freaking lost it on her. I lost it. I was like, excuse me, he's my dad, first of all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank God my parents got divorced after I was 18 because I would have been the stepchild from hell. And I now realize as an adult that that is 100% because of my Scorpio moon. You Scorpios out there, y'all be crazy. I feel like I relate so much to my Scorpio moon. The fact that I get really awkward during hugs, I'm not very touchy-feely at all. I'm like really uncomfortable. If someone compliments me, it makes me really nervous. Like I'm very awkward in that situation and I feel like that's very Aquarius. And sometimes it gives people the impression that I'm very cold and that I'm not very like warm and huggy and loving, which I could see that, I could see that. That is something I don't like about myself. I feel like sometimes when people hug me without realizing I like tense up, I'm like, <gasps> I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> it's just the rest of your birth chart is so important. You have a sun sign, you have a moon sign, you have a rising sign, and then the rest of the planets and all that stuff, it's crazy. But it just all makes so much sense. Like my rising sign is Leo, which by the way, is literally the only fire sign in my entire birth chart. The rest of my planets are like 90% Capricorn. Which is 100% the reason why I feel like I am such a wussy. Like, there's no fight. I hate confrontation. I hate, like, I uh, hate arguments. I swear, in middle school, Amelia had to fight all my battles. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did have a little Aries thrown in my birth chart somewhere because I feel like for YouTube, you really, really need thick skin in order to do this. I don't have thick skin. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's gotten a lot better actually since starting YouTube. Because any little negative comment, honestly, before used to like make me cry. And I feel like I've gotten way better. I get stupid hate comments now and I'm like, but I also feel like I've gotten better because I've gotten older. And man, these days, social media is such a dark, dark place. Everything, everything is about bashing somebody. Everything is about the drama, something negative, like people love it, they love it. And I get it, it's entertaining, cool. But social media has become such a dark hole that I really like feel bad for all the young women coming into YouTube or all the young women starting YouTube, starting Instagram. Because when I was younger, I let everything get to me. I didn't really know who I was. I was like struggling with myself and my confidence. So if I would have started YouTube at 15, like so many girls do, I don't know how I would have handled it. People can be so mean on the internet and to them, they're just writing a comment. They're just writing a comment on somebody's page. It's nothing to them, but the person receiving the comment, like it hurts them, you know? I feel like everything is so negative now and, it, and you're not cool unless you're negative. Like unless, unless you're bashing a product, you're worthless. Oh. What the heck is that? Is my alarm going off? I don't know, I do hope social media gets more positive because the last thing we need in this shitty world is... Can I help you? What I was saying was, I hope social media gets better because the older I got, the more I realize how important it is to be kind to people. Even sometimes when you think that person doesn't deserve it, you have no idea 
what's going on in that other person's head, the, the things they're dealing with internally. Some people lash out and are mean just because they're having a bad day. Like, you don't know. So I feel like you should always be kind and you should try always to be kind. Man, kindness really does go a long way. And I always appreciate it when someone is nice to me. I remember those things and they stay with me. Just like mean comments, they stay with you. So if you can impact somebody's life in a positive way, why not? Just even a nice comment. That can make somebody's day and you not even know it, you know? I spend every single day trying to better myself, trying to be a better person. Because honestly, honestly, think about this. What's the point of living life if you're not constantly learning lessons? Like we're constantly changing and evolving. Like I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I mean, obviously I was 15. I'm constantly learning. I just always strive to be better and I feel like that should be everybody's goal. Kindness goes a really, really long way. I'm stuffed. I cannot keep eating. I mean, not that I left much. Anyway guys, I am done with dinner. I'm gonna go edit a video. I'm actually pre-recording this week for next week because I won't be able to film next week, so. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up. I have no idea, but I have to get back to work and finish editing. But yeah, thank you for having dinner, lunch, or breakfast with me, or a snack, or thanks just for hanging out with me today. I hope I kept you company while you were bored. Let me know what videos you wanna see from me in the future, not just videos like this. Like, Let me know what videos you wanna see in general. Porter, you know what? You're, you're getting too close, too close. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.